Hi, I'm Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my movie on the Rotate tool. That's this tool here. If you like this movie, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find these movies. Also, if you want to be notified, hit the subscribe button and the bell to make sure you get notified every time I post a movie. If you like my movies and you think you learned something from them, how about you give me a super thanks. It really helps to pay me to make these movies. All right, let's get started. So we're going to look at this tool here. This is the rotate tool. When we click on it, you'll notice that there's rotate. The straight rotate just rotates the object you've already got. And this one is rotate and duplicate. Now, the trick with using this tool is you've got an object selected. The first click is the center of the rotation. Now, I nearly always pick an edge or a corner of my object. So that's my first click. The second click is the point to rotate. And I normally always go to the other end of the object. And then the third click is where to rotate it to. Now, this makes it real easy. So first click, center the rotation. Second click, point to rotate and the third click, point to rotate to. And I find that if you follow these three clicks, it works out really well. Let's go to the next one. So this is the rotate and duplicate mode. This is really handy when you want to have a series of copies. And I'm just going to type in 180 degrees to get it rotate round. So this is something I did in the 3D modeling special interest group. It's uh, supposed to be a copy of the Kimball Art Museum by Louis Kahn and I had to use extrusions to fill in the ends of the building. Back to our rotate tool. Now, because I'm in a 3D view, I can rotate this using the standard rotate mode or I can alignment mode. Rotates rotation so that lever action aligns. So let's start with the first mode. And we've got the duplicate mode turned on. So click here, click there and rotate my copy. So you'll notice that it detected the ground plane. Let's do that again. So we'll select the object and this time I'm actually on the object or I can choose a different face. So it's a duplicate. I select that one again. Uh, I can rotate it this way and I can rotate it round like that. So you can see it works really well if you understand the idea of the automatic working plane because it's always using that when we're rotating. Automatic working plane, automatic working plane, automatic working plane, and so on. This is a bit weird because it's a curve. I find this one here is actually a little bit complicated, whereas this one will do just about everything that you want it to do. 